the first rule of success is to have a vision. You see, if you don't have a vision of where you go and if you don't have a goal where you go, you drift around and you never end up anywhere. It's like you can have the best ship in the world, you can have the best airplane in the world. If the pilot or the captain doesn't know where to go, it will just drift around. You will not end up anywhere or most likely in the wrong place. Do you know how great it felt that I knew where I was going? Imagine the majority of people don't know where they're going. I knew where I was going. That I'm going to become this bodybuilding champion just like him. So it was just a question of how do you do it? I was so relieved. Because when you have a goal, when you have a vision, everything becomes easy. 74% hate, hate their job, job in America. In America. Now there's not much different when you come to Europe. Europe. The majority, the majority of, people of people don't like, like what they're doing. They're doing. Because, because they're really they're not doing, doing it because, because they didn't have a goal and, and they followed this goal. They just, just aimlessly drift around and then all of a sudden there's, there's, there's a job opening so they get their job. Because you have to work. But then when you work, it's a chore. It's work. It's not fun. So if you think about only a quarter of the people really enjoy what they're doing in life. That is unbelievable if you think about it. So I felt so blessed that I knew what I was doing. It's like a medical student that studies and knows he wants to become a doctor. You know where to go. So I knew where to go. So people always ask me, when they saw me in the gym in the pumping iron days, they said, why is it that you're working out so hard? Five hours a day, six hours a day, and you have always a smile on your face. The others are working out just as hard as you do, and they look sour in the face. Why is that? And they told people all the time, I said, because to me, I am shooting for a goal. In front of me is the Mr. Universe title. So every rep that I do gets me closer to accomplishing that goal, to make this goal this vision turn into reality. Every single set that I do, every repetition, every weight that I lift will get me a step closer to turn this goal into reality. So I couldn't wait to do another 500 pound squat. I couldn't wait to do another 500 pound bench press. I couldn't wait to do another 2,000 reps of sit-ups. I couldn't wait for the next exercise for the next half hour of posing and all the kind of things that you have to do to be a champion. So that's rule number one, have a vision. Rule number two is, don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to the naysayers. Everything I ever did, the thing that I heard out of people's mouth was, that's impossible. That can't be done. Or no. So whenever someone said to me, it can't be done, I heard, it can be done. When they say no, I heard yes. And when they said it's impossible, I heard, it is possible. Because I am a strong believer. So this is why I say don't listen to the naysayers. And the next thing, the third point that I'm going to make to you is, before we sit down with Jürgen and talk about the rest of the three is, work your ass off. There is no magic pill. There is no magic out there. You cannot get around, you have to work and work and work, I can tell you. And it drives me crazy when people say that they don't have enough time to go to the gym for 45 minutes a day and work out. Or to do something for 45 minutes to an hour a day to improve. If it is physically improved or if it is mentally to improve. Imagine you read one hour a day about history. How much you will learn after 365 hours in one year. Think about if you study about the history of musicians, of composers, how much you would know. 
Imagine if you would work on the business and some business that you want to develop every day for an hour. Imagine how further along you will go and get. So it drives me nuts because we have, when people say they don't have the time, we have 24 hours a day. We sleep six hours a day. So it gives you still 18 hours. Now there's someone shaking their head out there in front to say probably, I don't sleep six hours, I sleep eight hours, right? Or just sleep faster. So we have 18 hours a day, the average person works around 8 to 10 hours. So let's assume it's 10 hours, so we have 8 hours left. Then you travel around an hour a day, maybe 2 hours a day. So now you have still 6 hours left. So what do you do with the 6 hours? What do you do with the 6 hours? Then we eat a little bit, then we schmooze a little bit, talk a little bit to people and all that stuff. But you, but can, you can see, see how, how much, much time, time there is available if you organize your day. So you so got, you got to, work to work hard. hard. I mean, I mean let, let me tell you something. When I, I went to America, America. I, went I went to college. To college. I, went I went and worked work out five, five hours, hours a day. day. And, and I, was I was working, working on construction. construction. Because, because in those in days in bodybuilding, there was no money. We didn't have the money for food supplements or anything. Supplements or anything. So I had so to go to, to work. work. So I worked so in construction. construction. I went to I went college. college. I worked out in the gym, in the gym and at night from 8 o'clock at night to 12 midnight. midnight. I went I to went acting, acting class, class. Four, four times, times a week. A week. So, so I did, I did all, all that. that. There was not one single minute that I wasted. And this is why I'm standing here today.